Patrick Makuakane came to San Francisco in 1985 for romance and over the next 39 years built a thriving community around his passion, Hula. A native of Hawaii, Patrick was lured here by love. His boyfriend at the time, also a gator, encouraged him to give college a try. At 23, SF State became his first foothold in the city. His favorite class was quintessentially San Francisco, rhetoric of animal liberation, taught by the trailblazing queer feminist and science fiction writer Sally Gerhardt. It was the kind of class where students arranged their desks in a circle and shared their feelings before tackling the syllabus. He majored in physical education, initially thinking he'd become a physical therapist, but after an internship, he realized it wasn't the right fit. He considered personal training, but that didn't feel fulfilling. Thanks to SF State, he could explore different career paths before committing to his passion, hula. Patrick learned to dance hula at 13, studying under notable hula masters. Within months of arriving in San Francisco, he was teaching hula. It was his way to connect with home. Many of the students felt similarly. Hula meant community. Dancing and chanting were instant portals to Hawaii. After college, he dedicated himself full-time to his hula school, Nale Hulu e Kave Kyu. His dance company has performed nationwide at places like Lincoln Center in New York City and the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco. His students perform both traditional hula as well as hula mua, a style he developed that infuses hula with modern touches like techno music and contemporary themes. He's tackled powerful topics in his productions, such as colonization and native Hawaiian transgender artists. Kuleana is a concept in Hawaiian that means responsibility. It's what you bring to your community, says Patrick. He believes his kuleana is to innovate hula. In 2023, he was named a MacArthur Fellow for preserving and celebrating traditional hula while also pushing the boundaries of the art form. Over the years, Patrick has received numerous awards and recognition for his work. In 2022, he received a Lifetime Achievement Kulia E. Kanu'u Award from the Honolulu Chamber of Commerce of Northern California. The San Francisco Arts Commission presented him with a Legacy Award in 2018. But for Patrick, his biggest reward has been the community he's created through dance. He's surrounded by the most supportive, kind, and loving people. What could be more rewarding than that?